हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे वी बिगिन्स विथ द क्लिनिकल एक्जामिनेशन ऑफ ट्राइजेमिनल नव विच इज द फिफ्थ क्रेनियल नव ट्राइजेमिनल नव और फिफ्थ क्रेनियल नव इट इज अ मिक्स नव एंड द फाइबर्स इंक्लूड द मोटर सेंसरी एंड सिक्रिटो मोटर फाइबर्स ट्राइजेमिनल नव हैविंग द थ्री पार्ट्स ऑप्थेलमिक पार्ट मैक्सिलरी पार्ट एंड मैंडिबुलर पार्ट और इन अदर वर्ड्स ट्राइजेमिनल नव इज गोइंग टू डिवाइड इन टू थ्री ब्रांचेस ऑप्थेलमिक ब्रांच मैक्सिलरी ब्रांच एंड मैंडिबुलर ब्रांच सो फर्स्ट ऑप्थेलमिक पार्ट ऑफ द ट्राइजेमिनल नव इट सप्लाइज स्कीन ऑफ मीडियल पार्ट ऑफ नोज टिल द टिप फोर हेड स्काल्प एंड अपर आईलिट्स लेक्राइमल ग्लैंड कंजेक्टाइवल सर्फेस ऑफ अपर लीड एंड कॉर्निया नाउ द मैक्सिलरी पार्ट इट सप्लाइज लोअर आई लिड्स एंड इट्स कंजेक्टाइवल सर्फेस साइड्स ऑफ नोज अपर लिप एंड अपर टीथ द चीक म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ नोज अपर पार्ट ऑफ फेरिंग्स रूफ ऑफ माउथ सम पार्ट ऑफ सॉफ्ट पेलेट एंड टॉन्सिल्स now the next mandibular part it supplies lower lip tongue lower teeth lower part of face and ear salivary glands and this salivary glands have parasympathetic fibers all muscles of mastication except buccinator and buccinator muscle is supplied by seventh cranial nerve so all the muscles of mastication has been supplied by the mandibular part of the trigeminal nerve or simply trigeminal nerve now how we are going to examine the trigeminal nerve we are going to do the examination in two main parts sensory examination and motor examination so first we are going to do the sensory examination here we have to test the touch pain pressure and temperature sensations over the skin and mucous membrane of face by all three branches of the trigeminal nerve which is the ophthalmic branch maxillary branch and mandibular branch few days back i uploaded a video on the sensory system examination please go through that video and do all the type of sensory system examination over the three branches ophthalmic branch maxillary branch and mandibular branch here i am showing you few of the sensory examination how you have to do so please see this video now the next here we have to check the conjunctival reflex and corneal reflex conjunctival reflex of front fifth cranial now if front seventh cranial now same in the corneal reflex of front fifth cranial now which is the trigeminal now and if front seventh cranial now which is the facial now now how to check the conjunctival reflex touch conjunctiva with the cotton wool swab as we are seeing in this photograph you have to touch the conjunctiva with the help of this cotton swab and what will be the response there will be the contraction of orbicularis oculi muscle so there will be the rapid closure of the eyelids and it's a protective reflex the same thing in the corneal reflex but here we have to touch the cornea rather than that of the conjunctiva 
सो वी हैव टू टच कॉर्निया विथ कॉटन वुल स्वेब एट इट्स कंजिक्टाइवल मार्जिन सो वॉट विल बी द रिस्पॉन्स द रिस्पॉन्स विल बी द सेम कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ ऑर्बिक्यूलर इज ऑक्यूलाई मसल सो देर विल बी द रेपिड क्लोजर ऑफ द आईलिड सो इन द ट्राइजेमिनल नव एग्जामिनेशन वी हैव टू चेक द कंजेक्टाइवल रिफ्लेक्स एंड कॉर्नियल रिफ्लेक्स नाउ द मोटर सिस्टम एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द ट्राइजेमिनल नव फर्स्ट वी हैव टू चेक द टेम्पोरालिस एंड मेसेटर मसल हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू चेक द टेम्पोरालिस एंड मेसेटर मसल टेल सब्जेक्ट टू क्लेंच हिज माउथ normally there is equal prominence on each side and it should be confirmed by the palpation tell your subject to clean his mouth and meanwhile you have to put your fingers over the angles of the mouth to find out whether the fold is present or not no prominence on the paralyzed side so if you fail to find the prominence so it is the muscle is paralyzed that is how we have to check the temporalis and masseter muscle now pterygoids how we are going to check the pterygoids tell subject to open his mouth see the position of the jaw whether it is placed in the center or deviate on the other side jaw will deviate towards the paralyzed side why on the paralyzed side there will be the contraction of the healthy pterygoid muscles so that the jaw will deviate towards the dead side so this is how you have to do the motor examination for the pterygoids simply you have to tell your subject to open his mouth and see whether the jaw is placed centrally or it is deviated towards the one side now the next in the motor examination we include the tensor tympani muscle ask subject whether any loss of hearing or not simply you have to ask your subject whether is there any type of hearing loss or not the jaw jerk the level of spinal cord nuclei of fifth cranial nerve here it is the cranial jerk or the cranial reflex so here the uh, level of whatever the cranial nerve nuclei it is the fifth cranial nerve nuclei which is the trigeminal nerve and how to elicit slightly open the mouth and place one finger over the chin and tap it you have to tell your subject slightly open the mouth you have to put either your thumb or index finger over the chin and tap it with the pointed end of this clinical hammer now what will be the response there will be the closure of the jaw due to contraction of masseter muscle now trigeminal neuralgia what do you mean by trigeminal neuralgia when the blood vessels pressing on the root of the trigeminal nerve it causes now to transmit pain signals that are experienced as stabbing pains so whenever some type of condition when the blood vessel going to press the nerve fibers of the trigeminal nerve then there will be the stabbing pain experience it is known as trigeminal neuralgia pressure on the nerve may also be caused by the tumor or multiple sclerosis now in the conditions of paralysis of the trigeminal nerve what will happen there will be the loss of all types of sensation over the skin and mucous membrane on the respective branches of the trigeminal nerve so here whatever the branch of the trigeminal nerve has been damaged there will be the loss of all the sensation from that branch and it is supplied area over the face if the ophthalmic branch is damaged loss of corneal reflex specifically how we are going to find out which branch is damaged if the corneal reflex is lost then there will be the ophthalmic branch is damaged maxillary branch damage loss of palatal reflex and mandibular branch damage weakness of the muscles of the mastication so these are the specific test by which we are going to know which branch of the trigeminal nerve has been damaged either the ophthalmic branch maxillary branch or mandibular branch i hope via this presentation all of you understood how to do the clinical examination of the trigeminal nerve which is the fifth cranial nerve